I'm Wendy Garner with Children's of Alabama. Respiratory illnesses like asthma are the number one reason why patients come to Children's. It's an important topic and joining me right now is Janet Johnston. She is an asthma educator here at Children's. Good to see you. Thank you. What is asthma? Asthma is a chronic lung disease that causes inflammation in the airways. It can't be cured, but there's great control for mm -hmm. asthma, and that's what we want the child to be well controlled. All right, one of the things that we want to be looking for as a parent, I guess, to protect our kids are the triggers. Right. What are some triggers right. of asthma? The main triggers for asthma are anytime the child catches a cold, a respiratory infection, when they have allergy season or allergies, irritants like smoke and then exercise is a trigger for asthma. And that's the one trigger we don't want kids to avoid. Kids that are well controlled should be able to exercise. So the key is we can't cure this, but we wanna make sure that it's well managed. How can we right. do that? There's a couple of important things. One is always adding a spacer to the inhaler mm -hmm. so that you're not just using the inhaler directly in your mouth, but adding a spacer so the medicine goes deeply into the lungs. Because it's very important that that child is getting the full dose of what they need, right? Exactly. And that was the point of the spacers. The other thing is having an action plan mm -hmm. so that the child is seeing the provider regularly for asthma and they have clear instructions about how to use their inhalers, using it properly, what to do when their symptoms increase, when to call the provider, when to seek care. Some very important tips and for more information people can go online to the children's website childrensal.org forward slash asthma. You have a lot of great resource documents that parents can look at, right? Janet Johnston, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs>